Oh, nice day again. Had some rain. I won't take them too far because to the end because anything can happen distraction or another dog comes in and I would give plenty of room between me and that other dog if there is one checking all the way around one of the things I want to stress here is because your dogs have limitations like mine cannot be let off the lead come on loves Sophie Ty good boy good girl they're slow they're not quick about it but doesn't matter they're coming so I tell them how good they are but you've got nothing to prove when you take account of what your dogs are capable of and what they're not and you know the limitations you might have you'd be amazed how easy life is you know when other people say to you oh doesn't your dog do this yet doesn't your dog do that yet they're actually stopping you enjoying having a dog in exactly the same way as you hear people when somebody has a baby oh is he smiling yet is he sitting up yet is his teeth coming through you know well blow all that you've got stages before enjoy it there's always pressure on people and and it's just not fair you put pressure on yourself then unnecessary pressure and if it is particularly un, well, impossible then you feel guilty because other people have made you feel guilty well don't let them I don't I promise you I had somebody say because I cannot release these dogs that um, I, they don't see me as leader well what they've got is years of fending for themselves when there's something scary and I'm reminded of one of our wonderful wolves in Yellowstone Casanova or officially number 302 the gorgeous black wolf who when he decided to disperse from his own pack which happens quite naturally for many of them Sophie come on love you good girl then he travelled away from his pack and into fresh territory. He was looking for a, a member of the opposite sex who felt the same, you know, ready to leave and start their own family. And 302, bless him, didn't quite go to plan like that. He was very much a different free spirit. But when he approached the Druids, which, you know, was quite natural. And when I say approach, he stayed about a mile away. Don't put yourself in harm's way. When the alpha male, the leader of the pack, 21, gave him his marching orders by chasing him away, 302 found refuge by running to the road. Now, this was unusual, you know, but this wolf chose going to the road as a sanctuary. Okay, that was his choice. Did put him at higher risk of getting run over, but, you know, this is what he did. Now, further on, when 21 and 42 the alpha pair of the druids had gone and he had joined the druids but not as leader but as the alpha male he he not as alpha male beg your pardon but as a beta he didn't want the job he gave it to his kid brother younger brother 480 but when they were under attack and, and i must stress that 302 certainly let 480 dictate who was in charge he accepted his brother was leader and there were some tussles between them but he was okay with it the pack survived which was the important thing but when they were under siege and they were from the slew pack uh and they ran at first they tried to challenge but realized that not only they're outnumbered but they weren't a, a consolidated pack like the at the slew were at the time then whilst the pack made off to the into the hills 302 didn't he shot back to the road back to his place of safety and at first people were wondering will he now become a disperser from the druids would he you know separate from them because they'd gone one way and he'd gone another he'd left the alpha pair and he'd gone because experience his experience was the road is his safety zone so fortunately and i do mean fortunately for all concerned he did 
after the initial panic of the attack from the other pack was over and things calmed down, he did wander back to in the direction the Druids had gone and did join up with them. And although they were in exile for a long time, they eventually did come and take the Lamar Valley back. You know, better than any fairy stories, the truth is wonderful. But what I'm proving, what I'm explaining by that is that just because you cannot let your dog off the lead doesn't always mean that the dog does not see you as a leader. They rely on old habits, old survival habits, and that's what I fear these two would do. So uh, another thing to do when you're out for a walk with your dogs is get them to steady up sometimes. Literally stop and make and make well make them. Sophie, tie. Now you see, look, nothing. When we're at home, they haven't got any behavioural problems. When at home, there is a different world. Out here, it's the big wide world. Steady them up. Make them settle. Just for a minute. We're not always on the go. There's a very good reason for that, because as we came in this way, uh, I, she left a message, and I had to clear it up. And the bag, the black bag, is actually laying on the track there, ready for me to pick up as we leave. Well, I'm not going to carry it all the way down there, come all the way back. Of course you carry it if you're going around in a circle. But again, we're back to this thing about nothing to prove. I could go out of that entrance at the end and turn, and then I'd be on a very busy road, which he hates. He is terrified. But what have we got to prove? The only times he's on a busy road with me is when he's in the car. And were we to have to get out of the car for any reason, again, he wouldn't jump out of the car because he's taught to wait for me to invite him out. So we take all the panic out of it. So yes, they can have a good old rummage around. They can have a wonderful time when they're out. Unfortunately, still saying on long line, yep. But doesn't matter. We can have a good, good time. Can't be sweet up. And being older dogs as well. If they had been younger when I got them, chances are I could have perhaps sort of made a new association with running free. That's better. I'm just waiting for her to get her leg free of the line. I never walk on when it's wrapped around them. But this is their equivalent of free time, as much as I can give them. And... Uh, but remember, you've got nothing to prove. Live your life. But you see, if, if you stop and that, you, know, you invite them to come in, which is what I do, that's to come near me, gather round me, which for anybody that's got the copy of the first book, The Dog Listener, will see that actually on the jacket. It was quite funny, that, because uh, when that photograph was taken... The chappie from the Mail on Sunday said, Oh, they want a photograph of your dog sitting in ascending order, just looking at you, showing your control. Yeah, well, that wasn't going to happen. And when I said no, he said, Well, how do we show your control? I said, It's not control. It's their self-control. So I told them to go and play and uh, release them to play. And they shot off in all directions. I walked about 20 yards from the photographer, turned started to walk back and as I did I called come in and all the dogs gathered around me and this chappie's face was a picture it really was because he couldn't believe the way they just gathered around me no drama no problem they just gathered up and when we got to him he said can you do that again said, yep so it was good play same thing when we got back to him he turned to his colleague and said get the camera out and uh, it was the third time I did it for them. I think the dogs were thinking, this is a lot of practice today. And um, he got the photograph that says it all, really. But so we come back to, this is a long one, I know, but, you know, you've got nothing to prove as long as you and your dogs are happy and you're not interfering or making life difficult for anybody else, you're fine. As long as you take precautions. Get your dogs to understand self-control. You can't really control them. You've got to work on self-control. So we can go down this track, have a lovely walk, 
and as you can see the entrance is not too far away unfortunately there's nothing there at the moment but I gather them up well before we get there and as you probably can also see the black bag that we left here as we went the other way and now I'm about to collect up so yeah you've only got to, you've proven nothing to anybody else enjoy your life with your dogs so as I collect up our belongings or hers as it were I wish you well today Sophie Ty see I need them to be steady while I pick this up they're not going to